Hey guys, so I would like to show you the way I found for 3D printing almost every place on the planet using Blender and Google Maps. Well, you can get every place using this method, but all the large cities that are in three dimensions on Google Maps. We're gonna use an add-on for Blender called Maps Model Importer by this guy. Definitely check his GitHub to see the latest version available, which is RenderDoc 1.19 and Blender 3.1, but it works with the 3.3 as well. Get the Blender, get the RenderDoc. I don't even know its purpose, but uh, we are going to need it to capture our city. Also, you need a Google Wait change the uh, target property. And uh, we will insert a command from GitHub there. So, first, let's open RenderDoc. Uh, we're gonna open this uh, inject into process window. Uh, if you don't see this option, you can enable it in the settings, I think. And then we will open modified uh, Google. And you should get this pop up window with a number, which we're gonna type here, uh, find the process, and inject. You can close the window now and you should see api status active right here now we want to find the location uh, you want to print on google maps or on google earth okay i'll go with the, the bridge and we can start capturing we can use a print screen but i don't know why it doesn't work for me so i'll use this uh trigger after two seconds and what's important to move while capturing or the 3d data will not be collected then you should see your capture right here you can go for more captures or you can just save it and move to Blender. Download the zip file and install. Don't forget to enable the add-on. Uh, and now we have this option to import this Google Maps capture. So we're gonna do that. Find our capture here. Nice, and here we have our capture. Uh, you can select the part you want to print. So I will go with this part. Now, Control I to invert the selection and press X to delete. Now we want to join all the parts together. Uh, so A to select all and Control J to make it one uh, object. Now let's move to edit mode by pressing tab. And as you can see, the mesh is not in the best form for 3D print, so we will try to fix it with a remesh modifier. I don't know if there's a better solution for this, 
but does work. However, before applying the modifier, we will add the thickness to the bottom layer. So in edit mode, control 3 to select faces and select all the faces from below. Extrude with E and attach to Z axis by pressing Z. Apply and now S for scale, uh, Z and zero. So we will get this flat surface. Also, these open buildings could break, so uh, we will place a cube here, uh, move it to the middle, scale it, and we're gonna match this uh, cube wall to the border. Uh, you can use the snap function and select face select the face G Z G X G Z G X nice and delete the upper and bottom part Now we are ready to apply the modifier, but change the resolution first before leaving any build. Uh I mean the voxel size to around 10. Or the resolution will be too high and Blender could crash. Then is too much, so I will lower the value. But first get rid of these artifacts Nice. So let's try five. Oh. Mm, could still be better. So I'll go for three. It depends on the scale of your object. And this resolution is enough for 3D printing, I would say. So we are ready to export. You can of course lower the voxel size, but Blender could crash. Yeah, and that's all I wanted to show you. If you are too lazy to watch this video, you can get uh, the STL from my Etsy. Thanks.